you're dealing with the sickness and you're trying to fight it, sleep is the best healing thing for that. Six-year-old Marla Pettit has fought off cancer her entire adult life. When she was 18 years old, she first was diagnosed with breast cancer. Since then, she's fought off six other types of cancers, including her latest diagnosis of carcinoid syndrome in 2005. Many of her organs have been removed. Gallbladder, appendix, half my esophagus, my entire stomach, good portion of my intestinal tract, and they're wanting to do, a, I guess it's a resection of the colon. But even though Marla is fighting a battle of her own, she still helps others with theirs. When she's not hospitalized, she's volunteering. She's helped at Relay for Life, Valley Children's Hospital, and various other events for children with disabilities. That's how she met Amy and Darren Kuhn. She doesn't ask for anything in return. She just gives, and that's what my wife and I were amazed of, is she wanted to be out there just to help out. She helped Amy with an Easter egg hunt for kids with autism. They both learned she was not doing well financially, recently had her house robbed while hospitalized, and moved into an apartment with little to no furniture. After hearing about her story, they felt compelled to help. Oh, it hit hard. It hit super hard. And we met her at the park. We got in the car. We were at lunch. And I said, I want to get her mattress. I want to get her bed. Darren went to Under the Covers mattress store hoping they could get a help with a discount. But little did he know, Marla's story also resonated with the owner. You know, our wildest dreams, we probably couldn't afford to do it. And they donated it and delivered it. And they're just great people. And um, they're the heroes here. We're just trying to help Making somebody connection. out. The idea of being able to help someone um, get a good night's sleep that that's giving back themselves back to the community. Um, that's a win-win in my eyes. Marla couldn't be more thrilled. Amazing. You know, I would have never had it. I could have never done it myself, not in the rest of my lifetime. <laughs> I made a comment to her that I actually felt human. And I know that sounds weird, but I haven't felt that way for a long time. Now this couple is hoping more people will help others too. When you know you can do something or helping somebody that doesn't have it as, as, as much as you do, or when someone who just needs an old nudge, you're, you know, you, you gotta do something.